what are your earliest memories as a young kid growing up where you started to get that itch to just kind of live and and kind of partake in that social media experiment, you know, Twitter and then Instagram now more recently mm-hmm. with TikTok and stuff, but how far does it go back? Man, so I was watching, it's crazy. I was watching YouTube skips like in fifth grade when it was kind of like, I don't even know if people was getting paid on it then, but uh, I was watching YouTube skips way back then and uh, just watching random stuff up there. And um, as time went on, you know, Snapchat became a thing in high school. So in high school, I would make skits for Snapchat and uh, people would see it on Snapchat and they'd be like, yo, you're like funny, like, you should do YouTube <laughs> and stuff. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm trying to go D1. I ain't worried about all that skit stuff. I'm trying to get a scholarship. So uh, as time goes on, uh, when I get to uh, Charlotte, I'm still doing skits, but it's like for myself on Snapchat. I wasn't posting it because I didn't, I didn't think anyone cared. And then eventually I had uh, a lot of people hit me up like, yo, you need to like do YouTube and stuff like that. It's actually one of my my ex's older sister. She would always post tell me to do YouTube, and I was just like, "Yeah, maybe." She was like, "You're like really entertaining. You need to do YouTube." So I did it my senior year of college. I want to say, yeah, going into my senior year of college at Charlotte, I started a YouTube page just to do it. I was like interviewing people and just uh, doing it like that. And then eventually we got in season, and I didn't want to like I was focused on the season, but then the pandemic hit. And that's where everything changed because I was bored. I was in the house. I just got a, a technically laid off my job because I was working at the gym and then nothing was open. So I came back home to Jacksonville, North Carolina, was chilling. People was on TikTok. I was like, I might as well just make something. I made one skit about uh, how it feels when you go take the garbage out and how someone's like, it feels like someone's chasing you. <laughs> and then that thing blew up like crazy. And my boy, Ben DeLuca, that played with me at Charlotte, he was just like, yo, just keep going. And I was like, I ain't, I mean, I'm bored, so I might as well. And things just took off. And I'm yeah. having an interview with you now. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah. So, so tell me a little bit about it. so much of what we talk about here is is kids preparing that sports. Sports is an experience, right? So, as a young kid, you grow up. Sports is your whole life. You grow up, you know, playing ball and whatnot. You eventually get to college, but then there's always that pivot, and it happens at different times for different kids. Sometimes it's after high school. Sometimes some kids are fortunate enough to go to college, but there's always that pivot. There's always a day where the what you've done your whole life in sports ends and you need to make that transition into something new. So think back. So with pandemic, you'd always kind of toyed with it, but it was always kind of secondary. When you finally said, you know what, I'm going, I'm going all in. I'm going to be a content creator. There's money to be made. I have a, I have a gift I've known for a long time. I like to entertain and make people laugh. Like what was that pivot point in that process? Like looking back when you had to just say, Hey, I'm going all into something. Is it scary? Is it exciting? Is it new? Like, what, what when you think back to that, like what what do you remember? Um, I just remember. So one thing about me, um, a lot of how I, I I move now is due to how football was, like how I reacted in football. So one thing I have about my mentality is always being consistent in what I do. I've learned that from football. I knew if I worked consistently hard, I was going to get better as a football player. So now I'm in a place where I'm gifted with something. And now if I continue to gift, like consistently work at it, I'm just going to get better at it. So when I posted that first video and it went viral, I was just like, well, I mean, this is fun. I didn't, I didn't know anything about no money and involved in it. I just thought it was funny. I was making people laugh. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just do this. So automatically since from football, I was consistently making videos every single day, like every day. Like it, it wasn't like a chore. No, it was just fun to me. So once I started doing that, I was like, yo, I'm about to just keep doing this. But then someone hit me up. It was like, hey, do you want to do this ad for $80? I was like, $80? That's a lot of money for an ad. (laughs) So once I noticed there was like funds or money that comes with this, then I was like, all right, let me let me really see what's what this is about. So I kept doing that. Eventually, people from TikTok hit me up for the partner with Pizza Hut and stuff like that. So it was really like when um when I first really got that $80 and I was like, okay, this is, could be like something serious. So, 